today's video is all about my monthly makes for July. Hi everyone, I'm Hales and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you all the things that I've been sewing in the month of July and it sings for myself and it's some clothing items for my children. But I'm going to launch straight in and as I go along I'm going to just go through the patterns. I'm not going to be too in depth about each item that I've made because I'm going to link everything below because I, there probably is a vlog with the full pattern review and any fitting issues and things for each separate garment. So I don't want to repeat myself so if you want to go and check out any particular garment and want to know more details about that check out the description box below and all the details will be in there. So I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing, which is McCall's 7432. Now this one I actually made into a t-shirt and I'm going, it's this one here, View A, the v-neck. And obviously you can see here that it should be a dress, but I didn't have enough fabric. I wanted to try out the fabric that I had, which was left over from something else, and just try out the pattern and see how it fit. So I cut it off. And I did take a little bit in at the bottom on the like the hip area because it was quite wide which we would probably need for the dress but for a t-shirt it was just it wasn't as close fitting as what I would need so I did just take in a little about an inch on either side of that just to bring it in because I've got it as a t-shirt but let me just step back and I will show you. So this is made with it's not natural fibers it is obviously it's a stretch material but it's a polyester it's quite thick it is white on the inside. I have no idea what kind of fabric it is. I just bought it when um, it was on a Facebook group, which was um, a Facebook Live, I think it was, so they were sort of auctioning off fabric, so it was fairly cheap. But I thought it was good for a practice garment for the dress. Excuse what I'm wearing. I've been at the beach today, but I thought it would be fine. I'll just put this on as a t-shirt and I will get dressed as I go along. So it's the v-neck, let me just get the necklace out of the way and it has like a nice little detail, it's like a fold over at the v, um, the way that that is constructed it's in one straight bit on the band and then it overlaps at the front, it has bands, it has sleeve bands, I didn't add a band or anything at the, back, at the bottom, I have literally just turned it under and stitched it my machine did not like this fabric, it did not like the moon thread that I tried and that broke and when I did get some more navy gutterman thread it did not zigzag well, it did not like this fabric but you can't tell because it's all camouflaged in. I'm quite happy with the fit, I think it works quite well as a t-shirt. I may make this up into dress perhaps this month in August or I might make more of these as a t-shirt because it's quite a nice summer item, not too tight, nice and fitted. And that was McCall's 7432 from their Learn to Sew for Fun. The next item I'm going to show you is a tie. Now my son was having, or my, both my kids were having a school play and in a previous video I have shown the vintage apron that I made for my daughter. My son needed to be a country gent so I found, I thought, well maybe I would try and make him a tie because I'd seen someone do it as a live sew along on Facebook and I thought I would give it a go. So I kind of went with her instructions and not necessarily the tie instructions um, and I used a cotton fabric rather than a silk kind of thing. So unfortunately where the knot has been and where my son has not known how to tie a tie, he's literally just the teacher I think tied it for him and it has stayed in its knot. It has then creased up and dented out so it probably needs a good iron but it came from Sweet Shop Sewing and this is one of the pattern pieces, so look that is one side of it and then it um this is the other end of it and you stitch them together. I did actually cut this out on the bias and it does recommend that it's on the bias but I know that some people have said you're fine to cut ties out on the straight of grain and you'd probably be able to cut more out of that because obviously by cutting such a big tie out of being on the bias there's not much, there's quite a lot left over. I got a meter of fabric but not a lot that I can do with, much with because obviously there's a big tie hole shaped. Um, but it's an adult's tie and I did add 
um, this bit here so obviously then you can tuck from the inside so that that just holds that nicely together but I did it did twist a little bit when I turned it right sides out um, it's not perfect and I didn't line it or anything because I think the instructions do say for aligning but I just did an easy route and I have got um, interfacing in it just to stiffen it up a bit but like I said when I when I've unknotted it because it was still knotted up on the coat hanger um, it was I'll show you can you see so it's all it's still holding the creases but it's a free pattern so who can argue with that and I think if someone wanted to make a tie for an occasion for a prom or something like that but it's perfect because you don't want to spend money on a pattern for one item for one occasion so that is a good free pattern for a tie next up we have new look 6446 this one you can have a jumpsuit option but I went with this dress here I did not put contrasting bands on I thought I'd do it out of the same material and I haven't added a belt now anyone who's seen my video from a few days ago will notice that I've had a lot of fit issues with it and it hasn't been perfect I have resolved some of those issues so let me just step back and show you the dress and I'll just show you what I did to fix it so this dress it has Good, really good size pockets on. It has a good shape of neckline. It is quite high up. Um, the back just about covers my bra. So that could do with raising up a little bit. But the main issue was I had loads of excess fabric here. Turns out that I'd shortened the lining, I folded the lining up by too much. And I was, you have to slip stitch the lining to the waist and I did it with the dress lying flat and the problem with that is I had then caught it up to caught up too much material and it was hitching up the front and it wasn't allowing it to hang fully so I unpicked all of that lining I hung the dress on my dress form or my mannequin and then I, and I folded down a bit of the bodice from the inside and slip stitched it in place and voila no more bubbly excess fabric there's still a bit at the sides I still feel that it should have maybe a bust start it's not a perfect bodice I tried to you can really see my bra on that one um, I tried to do a full bust adjustment I'm not completely happy with it the main thing also was and excuse the traffic noise it's a Friday night so it's gonna be a bit like this the band along here was sitting out I've had to put some hand stitches in and sort of tuck it straight. I'm really not happy with that, but if I hadn't done that, it was like the last stage, it would just be sticking out like a piece of cardboard. The other thing that I did, it has pleats at the back, really odd pleats at the back. If you make the jumpsuit, by the way, a lot of people have commented and said that it's darts for the jumpsuit. So I don't know why there are not darts in the dress because it should fit the same and darts would look so much more fluttering. So just to know if anyone wants to make this pattern, it has this weird pleat at the back, which is really sticking out. So from where the waistband is to about here, so a good couple of inches, I have slip stitched down the pleats so that they don't stick out. because They were just sticking out and adding bulk. I mean, who wants to add bulk there? So there is a center pleat. I have left that but the back one mm -mm, get rid of them or like I did stitch them down just to sit them flat so that was new look new look 6446 next up you're gonna be so sick of me going on about this pattern I made more of the Mrs. Sue Rowan tea which is this one here I did it without the pockets and I did obviously the short sleeve version and I did this for my daughter. So we have one in a pineapple fabric. And with these, with this, it has literally just been zigzag. Let me see, it's trying, trying to focus on my face, there we go. So I have literally just done a zigzag on the collar or the neckband rather and on there and the bottom as well. So I don't have a fancy cover stitch, it is literally just a zigzag. I've also sewn in a little piece of ribbon 
at the back so that my daughter can tell which is the front from the back. So this one is a slinky kind of jersey. I'm not sure it's a four leaf clover. She's not massively keen on this one, but she might wear it. She's just, it's a bit hot for her. This one is a cotton and she really likes this one. It's a good weight on fabric. Green. I mean, basically all these t-shirts are the same, but I thought I'd just show you. So I've made four of them this month. I made one last month. This one here, she quite likes that one. It's a funny chicken fabric. And I used some scraps of Ponte Roma, which I had left over from when I did my Stella hoodie ages ago. And I've done that as the neckband because I thought that would be a good contrast and it would pick out the navy in there. I have just remembered that I have also made something which I haven't got out. So let me just go and get that. We have New Look 6505 from their tween section. And I made this one here. And I didn't put the um, the funny ribbon thing. Oh, it's basically this one here. I didn't put the ribbons on. I just did a tunic. And it's made out of a chambray. And um, let me try and get it up. So like this. If I find the footage or a photo of her in it, I will insert that over the top of this. She hates it. She really, she likes the fabric. She likes the design of it, but because it doesn't stretch, she's so used to wearing t-shirts that she won't wear it. I think it fits her really well and it's a good pattern. Well, I say it's a good pattern. No, it's not a great pattern. I've just remembered. Yeah, check out that description box below because I think I did have a few, I, I did a few adjustments to it, but for anyone who um, has a young girl or something at that age, they certainly live up to their names of tweens. This next make I haven't vlogged about at all, so there won't be any details in the description box. So I will give you a brief overview, but it's McCall's, where's the number? 6711. Um, it's easy, well, it says it's easy and there's the variety of different garments. I have actually made the jacket from here and I will, I'll put it in the cards above if you want to see how that went. But it has been a while since I made it. Um, let me step back. So I've been looking for an alternative to a camisole and I wanted something with a thicker strap. I think that that was perhaps a bit more flattering on me. So I thought I'd give this a go. Now this top has gathers um, here and it has gathers at the back across the back yoke. Now, the, I made, and it has a center front seam which it gets you to just fold over the seam where you want the V and top stitch it. The instructions are terrible for this pattern. I would not particularly recommend the pattern or the fit. I went by the bust size, the bust in the waist and the hips were fine and I thought that brings you to the size six. I mean, I'm not a size six, I've never been a size six, but we all know pattern sizes and ready to wear sizes are just like opposite ends of the scale. So I thought I would just go with it. But usually even on a sewing pattern, I'm looking at a 12 or 14, perhaps a 16, never a six, but I thought I'd give it a go. So, cause I thought, well, it goes with a 36 bust and it would fit my hips as well. Cause there is nine and a half inches of ease in this pattern, which is ridiculous. However, when I put it on, it was so tight across here, I felt like my arms are like this, it was crazy. So, and I'd already done the armholes, which I'd done with bias binding, which I'm not a massive fan of. I don't think, the way that they get you to do it, I don't think it's that great. It hasn't concealed it particularly well. And it's just a bit strange all the top stitching. And excuse me, I have just used white because I was lazy and I'm treating this as kind of like a toil, wearable toil. But I have opened up and cut away the armholes and cut down by at least two inches to open them out. But I do carry a bit of extra weight here, so that could be it, but it could be the pattern. I just think if someone was smaller on the arms, they would probably find the other proportions balloon like balloon down them they would find that too big so it is a little bit out of proportion so i opened that cut that out and now i can actually move my arms but the finish on the armholes is pretty messy and it's like 
crinkled and it's it's not great the v-neck i find also that it's not as low as i would like so i think i did lower it and then it was too much so i did stitch it up a bit because it wasn't sitting flat so i would reassess that and then at the back i'll just tell you all i think it dips down i don't know if it is a dipped hem or whether it is the pattern but because i obviously have sway back i have um excess fabric here so what we'd really need doing is in the pattern piece to pinch out and then probably grade to nothing at the hips just to because there's no center pack seam just to eliminate that extra fabric there i don't know if it's worth sticking with this oh and also i think no i think i got this fabric from minerva Crafts, and i think if i can recall rightly it's peach skin and my machine absolutely hated it. I swapped to a size 70 needle and it was just skipping stitches and it seemed like really to struggle to um, sort of like pierce the fabric. And once it had, you could see the holes in the fabric. So if you make a mistake, that's it, everybody can see. So let me know, should I make another one with these alterations so it comes out a bit better or should I not bother? I do quite like the shape of it, it is fairly loose and casual and I do think it's fairly flattering not sure let me know if you're still with me thank you for watching and I have one more thing to show you if you haven't by the way if you haven't subscribed then please hit that subscribe button and you can then stay in touch with all the things I'm making throughout the month my final make is new look 6507 and I made this version here in a black cotton foil and I added a lining because the foil is obviously really see-through. I, I was about to throw this on my chair that I normally do but since um, between takes the cat has actually come in and sat on the chair and I forgot and I was just about to go and wing it on his head so I better not do that. There we go, that's the safer option. I'll step back so you can see it. So this has a double flounce and it is, oh sorry itchy nose, um, it's off the shoulder. I did take in because I made a size too big base. I should have gone on based on my measurements but because that would bring me out as a small, I thought I'm not a small so I made a medium. Medium is too big. Long story short, I've basically made a medium down to a small. It's quite an airy um, fabric and I think being black it will not date. It's just above the knee, so it is a good length and it is a nice loose fitting garment and just gives it a bit of extra special specialness about it with you can wear it with flats or with heels. And that is my final make for the month. So I've made quite I've been quite productive in July. I'm hoping for the same again in August. Obviously we're into school holidays over here in the UK. So I have my two children at home. I'm finally starting on the Shaw Trooper trousers for my husband's Star Wars cosplay, which he's been nagging me about for ages. So I have dug out the old vintage machine and I'm practicing on that to get the fit right and to get the pattern template right, ready to make the real garment in canvas so at the end of next month i should have a, a fully finished pair of trousers which will make him happy so i have lots of plans and lots of things going on thank you for watching this and i will pop a video in here which you might be interested in watching and i will see you again soon